Hello students, uh, this is our uh, second problem on design of connecting rod for IC engines. So in the last problem you might have uh, gone through some of the doubts. I think in this problem you are going to solve those all those doubts regarding the first problem also. So this is our first uh, this is our question design a connecting rod for an IC engine running at 1800 rpm and developing a maximum pressure of 3.15 Newton per mm square the diameter of the piston is 100 mm mass of reciprocating parts per cylinder is 2.25 kg length of the connecting rod is 380 mm stroke of the piston is 190 mm and compression ratio is 6 to 1 take factor of safety as 6 take length of the diameter ratio for big end bearing as 1.3 and small end bearing as 2 and the corresponding bearing pressure as 10 newton per mm square and 15 newton per mm square the density of the rod may be taken as 800 kg per meter cube and allowable stress in the boards as 60 newton per mm square and in the cap as 80 newton per mm square the rod is to be of i section for which you can choose your own proportions use rankin's formula for which the numerator constant may be taken as 320 newton per mm square and denominator constant as 1 by 7500 so this is the question that we have and we are going to design a connecting rod i think in this uh, problem we have got more than more data so let us solve our problem i am not writing much of the given data here i will show that given data whenever required in the formulas okay i will write only few things that are required for the given data okay required for solving uh, the first step okay okay few important parameters that are that we are need to remember those are the speed and maximum pressure diameter of the piston capital D reciprocating mass that is M is equal to 2.25 kg length of the connecting rod 380 mm stroke 190 mm with the stroke we can find the radius of the crank okay factor of safety and um, next uh, we have a bearing pressure uh, of uh, small end and big end also next we are having uh, densities of material okay as well as they have given the data related to allowable stress for bolt as well as cap okay they are asked us to imagine the section as i section of course we are going to we are going to take it only for the i section only so let us start solving the problem so the first thing that we need to calculate is design of dimensions of a shank okay before going to calculate the dimensions of shank or dimensions of i section just start the data like this uh, since the connecting rod is designed by taking the force on the connecting rod equal to the maximum force on the piston due to gas pressure therefore we need to go for a formula that is uh, fz is equal to or fp is equal to pi by 4 d square into p okay this is the formula why we are taking this formula 
because the connecting rod is designed by taking the force on the connecting rod which is equal to the maximum force on the piston due to gas pressure okay so in the data book we can find this formula let me show that formula so in the page number 16.4 you can find the data related to connecting rod okay so the first formula is fz is equal to pi by 4 d square p so the pi by 4 d square p so let me show you the so this is the formula that is related to load due to steam or grass pressure on the piston that is fz is equal to pi by 4 d square p so we are going to substitute the data let me F P is equal to pi by 4 d square p so in the question itself we have got the diameter as well as pressure okay so the diameter will be pi by 4 into the diameter he has given as 100 mm and the pressure he has given as 3.15 okay so just solve the numericals and tell me the answer so here you can see the piston diameter he has given as 100 mm and the pressure maximum pressure he has given as 3.15 okay so just substitute the values and tell me the answer okay i have got an answer of uh, 24740 Two four seven four zero newtons okay the next thing that we have to know is as we know that the connecting rod is designed for buckling about x-axis only why we cannot buckle we cannot accept buckling load in y-axis that's why we are going for only x-axis that is in the plane of motion of the connecting rod assuming the both ends are hinged and we are taking the l value as l only so since the factor of safety is given as 6 therefore the buckling load is so the buckling load is equal to fp into factor of safety so the fp value is 24740 into 6 okay so just substitute the values and tell me the answer i have got an answer of 148440 newtons okay this is the value that i have got next now of course we have calculated the buckling load based on the uh, uh, pressure that is acting on the piston but uh, according to the rankins formula uh, we, according to rankins formula we have uh, buckling load is equal to 14440 so according to rankins formula what is the rankins formula here uh, just go for the page number 16 point so the 16.4 will gives you the Rankine's formula here so the Rankine's formula is uh, buckling load is equal to sigma c into a by 1 plus a into l by k whole square okay this is the formula he has uh, mentioned for Rankine's formula okay for by Rankine's formula for long and short columns as we don't know which type of column is that that's why we are uh, using Rankine's formula of course in the question itself he has mentioned us to use Rankine's formula that's why we are uh, using uh, Rankine's formula okay let me write the formula here sigma c a by 1 plus
plus a into L by k whole square. So in this uh, we have sigma c is equal to sigma c is equal to allowable compressive stress which is given in the question itself. So in the question you can see use Rankine's formula which for which the numerator constant may be taken as 320 Newton per mm square which is uh, 320 into what is the area here we can find the area for I section in the data book itself so here you can find the in page number 16.9 you can find the area of cross section which is 11 t square and area of moment of inertia as 35 t to the power of 4 and section modulus as 14 t to the power of 3 okay just substitute the values as 11 t square by 1 plus a will be 1 by 7500 into length that is length of the connecting rod is given in the question itself so the length of the connecting rod is 380 mm 380 mm by radius of gyration with respect to x axis so the radius of gyration will be given in the data book itself that is kxx is equal to kxx is equal to 35 t to the power of 4 okay just substitute this value so kxx i told you right one minute this is area moment of inertia about x axis that is 3 35 t to the power of 4 and uh, kxx value will be sorry this is the kxx value that is uh, 3.18 t to the power t2 square t square which is kxx square is equal to 3.18 t square so just uh, substitute the root value and you can get a value of 1.78 t so just substitute that value 1.78 t just solve the sum and tell me the answer So here is the continuation for the problem I hope everyone had done the calculation so let us compare the values and check it now only if anyone got a different answer let me know okay so continuation three two zero eleven t square one one plus one so this is the last thing that we have seen in the last video right okay so this is the last thing that we have seen in the last video so this for the calculation if I do the further calculation means 148440 by 320 is equal to 11 t square by 1 plus 6.1 t square which gives to 11 t to the power of 4 by t square plus 6.1 so t square plus 6.1 464 gives rise to 11 t to the power of 4 so t to the power of 4 minus 42.2 t square minus 225 2 sorry 257.3 257.3 is equal to 0 ok so forty two point two plus or minus root over 42.2 square plus 
फोर इंटू ट्वेंटी टू फिफ्टी सेवन पॉइंट थ्री बाई टू फोर्टी टू पॉइंट टू प्लस और माइनस फिफ्टी थ्री बाई टू विच गिवस एस टू फोर्टी सेवन पॉइंट सिक्स आई एम टेकिंग ऑल द प्लस वैल्यू बिकॉज द थिकनेस वैल्यू कैनॉट बी ए माइनस वैल्यू दैट्स वे आई हैव टेकन एस प्लस वैल्यू टी इज इक्वल टू सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन विच इज ऑलमोस्ट इक्वल टू सेवन एम एम ओके सो दिस इज द आंसर दैट आई हैव गॉट सो इफ एनी वन ऑफ यू गॉट ए डिफरेंट आंसर लेट मी नो ओके सो कंटिन्यूशन सो दिस इज द थिकनेस of the shank now we have to cal go for the calculation of height of the shank width of the shank and thickness of web the thickness of web that we have already calculated that is t now we have to calculate the height of the shank wait let me show you the data book once So we have calculated the thickness of web. Okay. Next, we need to calculate the height of the height of the connecting rod and thickness of the connecting rod. Okay. Width of the connecting rod. कनेक्टिंग रॉड हाइट ऑफ कनेक्टिंग रॉड फाइव टी इज इक्वल टू फाइव इंटू सेवन थर्टी फाइव एम एम नेक्स्ट विथ ऑफ द कनेक्टिंग रॉड विथ ऑफ कनेक्टिंग रॉड दट इज इक्वल टू फोर टी फोर इंटू सेवन दट इज ट्वेंटी एट एम एम ओके दिस इज द डायमेंशन ऑफ योर शैंक ओके सो डायमेंशन ऑफ योर कनेक्टिंग रॉड ओके नेक्स्ट वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट द इंड्यूस्ड मैक्सिम बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस इन द कनेक्टिंग रॉड सो वी हैव टू कंपेर द इंड्यूस्ड बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस so that we can find whether the design is safe or not okay so induced bending stress is equal to induced bending stress so induced maximum bending stress in the connecting rod So, induced maximum bending stress in the connecting rod is given by a formula M max by Z. So, let me show you the formula. So, induced maximum bending stress on the connecting rod is sigma b is equal to M max by M max by Z. So, M max can be found out by a into rho into omega square into radius into l square by 9 root over 3 into 10 to the power of 12 newton mm okay this will be the mx for finding the mx formula okay so we can find the mx using this formula sigma v is equal to mx by Z. So, for finding M max, we are having a into rho into omega square into radius into l square by nine root over three 
into 10 to the power of 12 so this is the formula we are having to find out the mx sorry sorry i didn't notice that so area into rho into omega square into r into l square by 9 9 root over 3 into 10 to the power of 12 so this is the formula we are having okay so the area value will be 11 t square that we have already have in the we have already found out in from the data book 11 t square and uh, the row value he has given in the question itself so see here so here the density value he has given as uh, one minute density where is the density here uh, piston, piston. yeah so the density of the material of the rod may be taken as 8000 kg per meter cube so the density value is 8000 8000 kg per meter cube okay so this is the row value omega value can be found out by 2 pi n by 60 okay and the radius value the crank radius the crank radius can be found out by uh, half of stroke value okay and length value he has already given in the data book itself okay so the row value is 8000 and omega value can be found out by 2 pi n by 60 okay what is the n value here what is the n value he has given in the question and the speed value he has given as 800 rpm okay 1800 rpm 800 kandu, 1800 rpm okay by 60 so calculate this value just substitute the values in the given formula okay so the length for length value is length of the connecting rod is 380 mm okay so all the values we are having just substitute in the given formula and tell me the answer uh, now i am not going to tell you the answer you need to tell me the answer i will wait for the answer okay i will go with the rest of the procedure you need to tell me the answer now the area is 11 t square into rho value is 8000 kg and omega value you have to find out omega square into radius value the stroke value radius value will be r is equal to length of the length stroke of the piston is 190 190 by 2 okay r into l square 380 square by 9 root over 3 into 10 to the power of 12 so just tell me the answer okay so next we need to find out the z so the z value he has already given in the data book let me show the value show you the value Here is the Z value, section modulus value that is 14 T cube. So 14 T cube, just substitute the value as 14 T cube and uh, tell me the answer of uh, sigma B, maximum bending stress. So the maximum bending stress must be less than the crushing stress. Okay, so the crest you need to find okay you need to find out the uh, 
n x by z so whatever the value that we have got here that must be less than the allowable allowable stress in the material okay allowable stress in the material so if the bending stress is greater than the allowable stress means then the design won't be as safe so you must get the value less than the allowable stress the allowable stress is 18 newton per mm square that he has given in the uh, question itself just substitute the value and tell me the answer okay next thing that we need to do is design of connecting rod ends so the next step will be design of connecting rod ends for calculating the design of connect rod ends we have formulas in the data book itself let me show you the data book here so small end and big end of connecting rod the diameter of the piston pin can be calculated by d1 is equal to fz by pb1 into l1 so here you can find the bearing pressure pb1 bearing pressure can be calculated or can be found out from the data book or you can take the values if the if in the if the bearing pressure is given in the question means you can use that value if it he didn't mention in the question means you have you can take the values from the data book itself so here is the values of uh, pb1 and pb2 diameter of the piston pin and uh, diameter of crank pin both we need to calculate in that we can take the bearing pressures from the data books or you can take from the question also so you have to first prefer question later if we are if we didn't give in the question means you have to go for the data book okay diameter sorry diameter of piston pin is equal to d1 is equal to fp by pv1 into l1 so fp is nothing but your first that is force that is developed due to the gas pressure on the piston we have got the fp, FP value as uh, 2 4 7 4 0 by the pb value can be found out in the question itself that is corresponding bearing pressure as 10 newton per mm square for big end and 15 newtons per mm square for small end so that is crank for crank pin we have to take 15 newton per mm square and the length value so the length of the piston pin is not mentioned in the question that's why we will go for uh, 1.5 d l is equal to 1.5 d so that's why 1.5 d so just substitute the value and uh, tell me the answer okay so i have got an answer of 33.15 okay so this is the value that i have got that is around 34 mm okay next we need to calculate the diameter of the crank pin diameter of crank pin which uh, which we are having a formula of fp is equal to fp by pb2 into l2 fp value is 24740 by the pb value he has given in the question 10 into 1.5 d so the d2 value will be 
I have got an answer of uh, 40.61 which is around 41 mm so with this uh, we can find the length of the uh, piston pin as well as length of the crank pin also uh, L is equal to 1.5 into 41 and uh, L, L1 L2 so the L 1.5 into 34 okay just uh, substitute the values and you can get the length of the piston as well as length of the length of the piston pin as well as length of the crank pin 1.5 into 34 that is 51 and uh, Forty-one, which is sixty-one point five. Sixty-one point five. So this is the answers regarding the length, of, diameter of piston pin and diameter of crank pin. Design of connecting rod ends. These are the dimensions. Later we have to calculate the. Next we need to calculate the. Uh, here the diameter of the crank pin is completed, length of the piston pin is completed, length of the crank pin is completed. Next we need to calculate the inner diameter of the small end. Okay. So the inner diameter of the small end is nothing but your D1. So that that's we have already calculated. Outer diameter of this small end can be calculated by a formula D1 plus 2TB plus 2TM. So TB is nothing but your thickness of bush plus TM is nothing but your marginal thickness. If if in the question they have given means we can take the bush thickness as well as marginal thickness from the question only as they didn't suggest as anything in the question just we will take the values uh, did they suggested anything the no the the didn't suggest us anything uh, the bush thickness nor the marginal thickness just we are taking from the uh, data book only tb and tm so i am taking the tb and tm values as 5 mm just substitute those values and we can find the values of uh, outer diameter of this small end as well as we can find the outer diameter of the big end so outer diameter of big end can be found out by d2 plus 2tb plus 2tm so same values but d2 value will be different so we will get a different outer diameter of the big end later we have to calculate the height of the big end for calculating the height of the big end we have a dob that is nothing but your outer diameter of the big end plus 2db db is nothing but your nominal diameter of the bolt okay that we have to calculate so I will keep this value separate uh, I will calculate later first we need to calculate these two values that is outer diameter of the small end and outer diameter of the big end so that we can conclude the design of uh, connecting rod ends so here the outer diameter outer dia of small end is equal to out day of small end is equal to we have formula d is equal to d1 plus 2tb plus 2tm so that is the formula we are having d1 plus 2tb plus 2tm okay and as well as outer dia of big end okay d2 plus 2tb plus 2tm so the d1 value is 34 34 plus 2 into 5 plus 2 into 5 and here the d2 value is 41 2 into 5 plus 2 into 5 
so we will get uh, 54 and uh, 61 okay these are the values of uh, outer diameter of uh, small end and big end with this we have completed the calculation of design of connecting rod ends next we need to calculate the design of bolts so the design of bolts can be calculated by using the formulas in the data book page number 16.5 uh, where you can find the bolts for connecting rod big ends uh, so let me zoom it okay so the maximum inertia force acting on the bolts is given by fim is equal to w r by g into omega square into r by thousand one plus one by l by r so this is the formula we are having we need to find out the uh, inertia force acting on the bolts okay Actually, in the question, he has mentioned as mass. So, see here, he has mentioned as mass of the reciprocating parts per cylinder. So, 2.25 kg. So did, you, did you show that? 2.25 kg. So, directly we will substitute the mass here um, into omega square into r by 1000. 1 plus 1 by L by R okay here the Omega can be found out by uh, 2 by N by 60 I have got an answer of 188.49 square 49 mass is 2.25 into 188.49 square into radius will be 95 by 1000 into 1 plus 1 by the length of the connecting rod he has given as uh, 380 380 by the radius value is 95 okay here I have given all the values just substitute the values and tell me the answer okay you need to tell me the answer now maximum inertia force acting on the piston acting on the bolts that we need to find out and later you need to find out the root diameter of bolts root diameter of bolts can be found out by the formula uh, 2 into f i m by pi into sigma t so that is the formula that he, that we got it from the data book only so see here so 2 into fim okay fim is nothing but your inertia force acting on the bolts and sigma t is nothing but allowable tensile stress of the bolts so the allowable tensile stress he has given in the question only so the allowable ten, allowable stress of the bolts is 60 newton per mm square okay that is 1 by 2 okay allowable stress is 60 into pi okay just uh, tell me this answer okay i can I, I will wait for the answer you uh, i am not sure whether you are doing or not that's why i am asking you to tell me the answer later you need to calculate the diameter of the bolt uh, nominal diameter of the bolt Long, nominal diameter db is equal to 1.2 dc 
so whatever the value that we got that is core diameter of the bolt that we need to substitute here and we have to find out the nominal diameter so after getting the nominal diameter we have to find out the outer diameter of the uh, ends that one minute i will show that in a data book so see here after that we need to find out the height of the big end height of the for calculating out height of the big end hb is equal to diameter of the outer diameter of the uh, big end plus 2 into nominal diameter of the bolt plus 2 into marginal thickness so this is the formula we are having that we need to substitute and we need to get the answer so tell me the uh, nominal diameter of the bolt Bef for getting the nominal diameter you have to get the core diameter for getting the core diameter you need to get the maximum inertia force acting on the bolts okay i am not seeing the answers so you just tell me the answers uh, by doing uh, i will continue further height of the big end big end okay so for calculating the height of the big end hb is equal to dob and that is outer diameter of the outer diameter of the uh, big end outer diameter of the big end plus uh, 2 into t uh, db that is nominal diameter plus 2 into marginal thickness so we will be taking the marginal thickness as 5 and the outer diameter of the big end let me tell you uh, so here is the outer diameter of a big end that is 61 mm that is 61 plus 2 into just substitute the value of your nominal diameter of the bolt plus 2 into 5 marginal thickness i am taking maybe 5 or 5 to 10 whatever the thing may be you can take anything okay you can substitute any value and tell me the answer of height of the big end even i don't know the answer you need to tell me the answer so the last thing that we have to do is design of cap for calculating the design of cap we have formula as tc is equal to fim into l by b into sigma bc all to the power of 1 by 2 so where uh, fim is nothing but your uh, inertia force that is acting on the bolts into l is nothing but your distance between the two bolts so the distance between the two bolts can be found out by d2 plus 2tb plus db plus 2tm so here the d2 is nothing but your outer diameter of that is uh, diameter of the crank pin and 2tb uh, is nothing but your uh, tb is nothing but your uh, bush thickness that you can take uh, 2 to 5 mm between 2 to 5 mm and db is nothing but your nominal diameter and tm is nothing but your marginal thickness okay so just substitute the values and uh, whereas from for b we have to take the uh, l2 minus 2 tb so l2 is nothing but your uh, all, i already told you take that value and uh, substitute the values l2 is nothing but your length of the crank pin so length of the crank pin minus 2 into tb that is bush thickness okay so just substitute those values and you can find the thickness of the big end cap okay so these are the things that we need to calculate so here uh, sigma bc sigma bc is nothing but your allowable bending stress in the cap that he has mentioned in the question only let me show you the question okay allowable stress in the bolts he has given us 16 newton per mm square whereas allowable stress in the cap he has given as 80 newton per mm square okay so that we need to substitute and we have to uh, get the answers okay 
so just I will write the formula design of big and cap tc is equal to fim that we have already got that is inertia force acting on the bolts l that is uh, distance between the bolts distance between bolts so this can be found out by uh, l can be found out by formula d2 d2 is nothing but your uh, diameter of the crank pin plus 2 into uh, thickness of uh, bush thickness which will be 2 to 5 mm plus db nominal diameter nominal dia plus 2 tm that is marginal thickness which can be 5 to 15 okay so the d2 value will be so the d2 value that we have got is outer dia d2 we have got 40 41 mm okay so we can find the l value next we need to find out the b into sigma bc so b b can be found out by l2 minus 2 tb so tb is nothing but your uh, bush thickness and l2 is nothing but your length of the crank pin okay so the length of the crank pin we have calculated here only uh, one minute let me see the value length of the crank pin i have got a 61.5 so you can calculate the b value next for calculating for uh, sigma bc that is nothing but your allowable tensile stress on big end cap that is 80 newton per mm square with this you can find the values of uh, design of big end cap with this we conclude the problem related to connecting rod we have completed all the design criteria that are required for connecting rod okay just tell me the answers now one by one okay